Hello everybody, my name is Katia Garcia and today I'm going to talk to you about DNA, RNA, proteins and lipids. To start talking about the oxyribonucleic acid, we must have a clear concept about this. Um, it carries the information necessary to direct protein synthesis and replication. In almost all organisms, DNA is organized of chromosomes located in the nucleus of the cell. Each DNA molecule is made up of two chains of a large number of chemical compounds called nucleotides. Uh, these kinds of form a kind of spiral of double helix. Uh, each nucleotide is made up of three units: a sugar adenine, a phosphate group, and one of the four possible nitrogenous bases: adenine, guanine, timine, and cytosine. Now the RNA. The RNA or monocleic acid is the other type of nucleic acid that enables protein synthesis. Although DNA contains genetic information, RNA is what allows understood by cells. It is made up of a single strand, unlike DNA which has a double strand. The functions of RNA can be better understood through the description of different types that exist among the best known know are messenger RNA, which transmit the coding information DNA is saving the one in for protein synthesis, the transfer RNA, which transport amino acid for protein synthesis, and ribosomal RNA, that is an, his name suggest, is located in ribosomes and helps to read um, RNAs and catalyst protein synthesis. We have already mentioned some of the difference between DNA and RNA. For example, that the DNA is a double strander and RNA is a single strander. The proteins determine the shape and structure of the cells and direct almost a vital process. The functions of the proteins are specific to each other of them and allow cells to maintain their integrity. Proteins form their function in the same way by cell thick binding to molecules. Structured proteins are added to the other molecules of same proteins to create a larger structure. However, uh, other proteins bind to different molecules, antibody to specific antigens, hemoglobin to oxygen, enzyme to their substrates, regulators of gene expression to DNA, hormones to their Passive receptors, among others. And now the lipids. Well, the lipids are a very heterogeneous group of organic compounds, mainly made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And sometimes sulfur, nitrogen, and phosphorus. In but there are basically two types of lipids: uh, fats or oils. Also, call it triglyceride for fats and triacylglyceride for oils. The functions of lipids are very varied. We can discuss in the following: structural, energy, transport, and regulatory. Now, and in conclusion, DNA is the most important molecule in the whole body, since it's the one that stores the hereditary information and also the information for the correct functioning for our body and form the concepts mentioned are born. And that's all for me. Thank you for your attention.